All right, Mr. Breeze here. Welcome back to the workshop. And I'd like to update you guys on the uh, Eagle 2 free airplane project. Well, guys, check it out. The covering is officially done. I just finished up the last two pieces, the ailerons, tonight. Now, I haven't worked on this in a couple of weeks because uh, it's been very cold. And, uh, frankly, uh, my job has really been taking it out of me in uh, the last couple of weeks. So, tonight... Uh, uh, good night to get out here for a few minutes and get the last uh, two pieces covered. I want to say ailerons got that wrapped up tonight. And I'm very, very pleased how this came out. It looks really, really good. Now, I kept, I kept it a simple design, but effective. Um, the uh, color scheme has uh, come out very well. It's uh, very bright and very contrasty, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, on the top of the wing here, I did a couple of simple stripes and uh, the bottom of the wing. I did the bottom of the wing opposite the top, as you can see. Check this out. Now, pretty much the opposite top and bottom. Now, I'm very happy with how this came out. Now, notice when you cover a wing, the top piece of monocoat has to overlap a little bit around the, the leading edge into the bottom. And that keeps, uh, that basically helps it to stay on pretty much. And, and the exhaust oils do not get underneath the covering. And as you can see, the striping, which is which I did opposite, um, this portion here I'm very proud of. It came out very, very well. So I'm going to take the wing off and set it off to the side for right now. And we'll take a look at the... We'll take a look at the fuselage and uh, tail tail section. Okay, like I said, I did a uh, what I did here. Decided to do a black anti glare panel, much like a real airplane would have, and just a simple stripe down the side, about one inch, uh, about one inch wide, and also did a uh, a band around the turtle deck, which is uh, which is a trademark of the Eagle Two. Uh, came out pretty well and as you can see you can see the cockpit area I painted gray I actually painted the the sides of the fuselage and the formers I did this before I actually built the fuselage so once the fuselage was built I had a gray cockpit and we'll come around to the front here I got something else to show you now this here um, this is an old school technique that I like to use and the guy who taught me how to build uh, showed me how to do this. Now, instead of fuel proofing simply with uh, thinned epoxy, I like to use dope. And and there's three reasons for that. The dope fuel proofs just as well as anything else. And the dope uh, seals the seams of the monocoat around the edges here. And also, the dope gives uh, color and provides a nice finished look and I just like it when the engines in place it just looks great anyway we'll walk around the side here and check it out uh, like I said this side turned out just as well and here the tail feathers are done okay you can barely see the uh, the uh, horizontal stab here I'll flip it over horizontal stab right on the bottom white on the top again a uh, nice contrast which you want when the planes in the air and I did the uh, vertical stab and rudder in red and as you can see I've already got the Eagle 2 decals in place the ailerons that I just finished up they're all solid white okay um, one neat thing about this airplane this is only the second airplane that I've ever covered completely in monocoat so I'm still coming to grips with the idiosyncrasies of monocoat um, versus ultracoat. Now, I've been an ultracoat guy since day one. Well, that's it, guys. Um, the only thing left to do here is there are a few touch-ups to do with the iron and heat gun, making sure all the seams are sealed and all that, and make sure you get the last few small wrinkles out. And I'll be ready to begin the final assembly stage, which will begin with gluing, uh, epoxying the uh, tail group on, and uh, getting the, uh, the servos and push rods installed. And then we'll move on to uh, setting up the nose gear, engine and tank, 
and uh, finally finishing up with gluing the windows and windshield in. All right, guys. Uh, uh, there it is. I was just about ready for the final assembly stage. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, uh, subscribe if you'd like. Thank you. Mr. Breeze, out.